Hello everyone, or should I say howdy partner as we once again return to the Wild West Town. That's right, if you want to see how we built this town then I'll put a link to that video down below along with all the links to our other block by block tutorials just like this one as today we're going to show you how you can build our Wild West Bank. We're going to make a couple of improvements in our original bank and we're going to add an interior. But first I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos, you're all amazing. Continue your support by pressing that thumbs up and if you enjoy the videos then press that subscribe button too. So let's stop talking and get straight into the build. So what are we going to need for this build? Well we're going to need some jungle planks, some dark oak logs and planks, some dark oak slabs and stairs, dark oak fences, brown banners, glass panes, iron bars and some dark oak doors as well. Not a lot really, so let's get started. You're going to need to mark out a 10 by 12 block area so make plenty of room before you start building. So first we're going to fill out the base of our bank with some dark oak planks. After looking at a load of different Wild West buildings on Google and Pinterest, I found that wooden platform bases were the most common feature in this style of build. So we're going to include that in our build as well, like we have in the rest of our builds. I think I said the word builds about 10,000 times there, but anyway, now we're just going to remove the back two corner blocks of our wooden base and another two blocks near the front like so, two blocks away from the front. This is to make way for our dark oak log support column. Now we're going to build up a nine block column from the sand up in our back two corners and then in our front gaps we're going to build up two 11 block columns like so. Next we're just going to plop a dark oak plank on top of each of our columns and then we're going to construct a rear wall using jungle planks only as high as the dark oak logs like so. Then we're just going to repeat the process on the two side walls. You might think jungle planks was a strange choice for this build but I found that it looks good in the mesa biome and it really fits in with the worn sandy theme that we're going for. But of course if you wanted to change it up and change the type of wooden things then feel free, add your own style to it. Then we're just going to build up the front wall but this time we're going to build our jungle planks all the way up to the top of our front two columns like so. Beautiful. Now we can fill in the roof of our bank with the rest of our jungle planks and then we're going to add a signature trim of dark oak slabs that we've used in some of our previous Wireless builds. I think it really finishes it off and gives it that Wild West cowboy feel to it. We're going to continue the detail around the front by adding six jungle planks on the top of our front wall and then adding our dark oak slab trim over the top. We can now add a couple of steps at the front of our wooden base and then make a four block space in the front wall for our door. We can then knock out a three block gap either side ready to place our windows in later on. Then we're going to leave a two four block gaps above for our upper windows and a larger two by four window in the middle for a large central one. Using our dark oak stairs we can create some window sills like so on both the top and bottom windows just to add that little extra detail. Then add our doors, some iron bars in the lower windows for security reasons and then add our glass panes in the top windows. Now it's really starting to come together. To create a porch we're going to make a row of dark oak stairs with a row of slabs on the front like so. Add a slab on each of the corners for that extra westerny look. Then we'll add some fence posts on the corners and either side of the door to form some supports and then add a couple up above for decoration. Finally add a couple of hitching posts out front because even bank robbers need somewhere to tie their horses up. Now it's time to add our all important bank sign. If you want to know how to write letters onto banners I'll put a helpful link down below to show you how to do that. Now we're going to add our usual texturing. Like our previous builds we're just going to go around the whole bank and replace some of our planks with some stripped jungle logs to give it that worn and textured look. 
I can imagine that on a windy day, the walls of our Wild West buildings take a good old beating from that sand and tumbleweeds, etc. If you want to add even more texture and detail, add a few rows of jungle signs to the walls to make it look like planks of wood have been nailed there. Then add a few extra details out front, like some floor texturing with some graph granite and stuff, and then some chests. Now we're going to work on the interior of our bank. After looking at several images of Wild West banks on Pinterest and Google for some inspiration, I started to build up a row of safety deposit box along the back wall using some looms, which I think work quite well. Then we're going to start work on the banker's counters using some wood and iron bars. I formed a few different booths and then added some decorative trim. I found these sorts of counters were common in Wild West banks. If you want to add deep, more detail, feel free. I know a lot of people have been commenting saying that they get a lot of inspiration for their builds in Red Dead Redemption 2, which is great. It's such a good game and the detail and authenticity is unbelievable, making it such a good place to take inspiration from. But apart from that, just, just search the internet. After adding a few more details, I think we can safely say our Wild West bank is complete. And there we have it guys, our Wild West bank in all of its glory in our beautiful Mesa Bayou backdrop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, keep an eye out for the rest of our Wild West tutorial builds which will be coming soon, so press that subscribe button so you don't miss any of those. So apart from that, thanks for your amazing support, let me know what you think down below and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Tatty bye.